started. Um, we're gonna start right off with our jujitsu section. All right, so as we get going for jujitsu, simple warm up. We're starting off with a set of 10 jumping jacks. Do them with me, ready, set. And set of 10, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Squats for a set of 10. Two, four, forgot three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Set of 10 push ups. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we're going to drop and do egg beaters, right? I'm going to do them facing the wall so you can kind of see me as I'm here. What I'm doing is I'm making circles with my feet. Opposite directions, right? So you're laying on your back and you're just making circles. Go outwards and then switch directions. Drop heels down and switch directions again. And switch directions once more. And pop right back up. Next set of 10 jumping jacks. Set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats. One more set through this as a warm up. And then we're going to get into some of the drills that we're going to do today. Nine, ten. Set of ten push ups. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now grapplers lift. So I'm here, I sit, switch my legs, come up on one knee. Sit back, roll over the leg, switch your feet, come up on one knee. Sit back, roll over the leg, switch your feet, up on one knee. Sit, switch, come up. Sit, switch. Come on, sit, switch, and then up. 30 more seconds. Sit, switch, bring your body up. Sit, switch, bring your body up. Ten more seconds. Sit, switch, up, and time. All right, so now reach out. You're gonna start on your hands and knees. Hold on just a second. Just realized how loud my music was in the background. All right, so from here, we're starting, and all you're gonna do is be in cross-eyed. Actually, we'll start facing this one. Um, hands and knees, and then I come up, and I reach through with one foot, and then come right back. So not hands and knees, hands and feet. And then reach through and then back. Right hand comes up, sit through the left. Left hand comes up, sit through the right. Switch, switch, switch. This little element is part of our bigger drills that we're doing today. The drills that we're doing will all replicate motions you would be doing in jujitsu with a partner some of them, when you're doing the movements, what you're actually doing is kind of hidden. But for Joseph, anyway, who's doing the adult jiu-jitsu and you're working on some of the submissions, a couple of them, one of them, is a pretty sneaky setup for a triangle. And so we're gonna make sure to see in order, All right? And then mountain climbers, but. You're gonna do them really low and slow. So normally with mountain climbers, I would just have you drive your knees up. But what I want you to do instead is you're gonna touch your foot to the ground and stay really low. So I'm here and I bring my leg up. I bring my leg up. So it's like I'm coming up and dropping for a push-up. Come up, drop for a push-up. And right with me, go up, drop for a push-up. Up, really low. Up, really low. Really good stretch for your hips and your legs. 
as well as in jujitsu, there's times that you're in this type of a position. Up, a couple more seconds. And time. All right. So now going into these drills, we're going to start um, with going from a mount to a cross side. So when I'm in mount sometimes, we're going to pretend that anytime I'm this direction, I'm in the mount, somebody's underneath me, their head is always going to be here. It's always going to be in front of me. So I'm sitting and I'm looking at their head, right? So I'm in the mount, and from here, there's times that I may use this leg to actually wrap their arms, pass them out of the way, right? And then shoot this arm in as I settle into cross that, right? For Joseph, this is a good way to set up a darts, by the way. Don't tell Nick. So from here, I'm in a mount. My leg comes up. I reach over the top. And then I switch my knees, and I come into cross that. And then from here, I'm going to pop up, go to the um, knee on belly, and then I'm going to pop right back into the mount, right? So we go mount, swing the leg over, scissors through into cross side. Push up to knee on belly, hands come down, I'm back into mount, right? Do it with me again. I go from here, I'm in mount, this leg comes over, scissor your leg, come to cross side. Push up, knee on belly, hands back down, bring this knee in. Slide the other leg over, and you're back in mount, right? So ready, go, over, cross side. Pop up knee on belly, back into mount. And we do it again. Leg comes over, cross side. Pop up knee on belly, back into mount. Leg comes over, cross side. Pop up knee on belly, back into mount. Ready? Five times with me. Go. One. Two, swing the leg around, pop up to your belly, mount. Three, swing the leg over, pop up to your belly, slide into mount. Four, leg comes around, pop your belly, set up mount. One more time, five, swing it around, pop your belly, into mount. So now let's go the other direction. My right leg comes over the top. My left leg goes over as I scissor my legs, and I set it into cross side. Push off both arms to pop up to knee and belly. Right knees in the stomach, left legs off to the side. Put my hands on the shoulders, arms, whatever. This knee slides over, this leg comes in, and I'm back to mount, right? Right leg swings over, wrap the head, cross side. Push up, knee and belly, back into mount. Right leg comes over, cross side. Push up to knee and belly, and then back into mount. Leg comes over, cross side. Push up to knee and belly, slide back into mount. Leg comes over, cross side. Push up to knee and belly, slide back into mount. Right? Five more times. Ready? One, swing. Two. Three, four, five, simple, right? Next one. Oh, this one's kind of cool. This sets up a reverse triangle, actually, right? So from the on belly, again, the person's head would be here. And I go from normal knee on belly, I'm gonna to switch to a backwards knee on belly, their head would still be over there. Now with my left leg, I step that leg around and I should find myself kind of in this Z sit position, right? Like if we were to do almost like a hurdler stretch or cover this leg in, right? Now go right back the same way you came. So just spin around. We're just gonna do this on the one side to get you used to it. Right? So we start off with knee and belly. And then we switch knee and belly, step back with the leg that's standing up until you're into the C position. Right? And then I come back around. I start with knee and belly, I go backwards knee and belly. This leg would actually scoop a leg 
put an arm. Which way am I going? Actually, the other way scoops the arm. I'm in this leg and scoops back around it. And that would be the reverse triangle, right? So I start the traditional knee on belly, reverse knee on belly. This leg hooks up underneath the person's arm that would be underneath it. And then I shoot over. This leg would go in deep. And then I would wrap up here and I would have a topside triangle. And back up. So switch, step over, and then sit. And then set right back around, right knees up. Switch, step over, and sit. And then set right back up. Switch, step over, sit. Set right back up, and switch, step over, and then sit. And then right back up, right? Um, now, actually, let's do this one from the other side. So now we're on this side of them. So their body is here, their head is here, knee and belly, my right knee's in their belly. I switch, I put my left knee where my right knee was, and then go here. This foot slides back a little bit, and then this leg steps all the way over. Right? And then we step right back up. Knee ride, switch which knee is on their belly, step back with the other leg. And we do it again. Knee ride, switch, step back. Step back up, knee ride, switch, step back up. Switch, step around, step back up. Switch knees, step around, step back up. And again, switch knees, step around, and then step right back up, right? And relax. So with jujitsu skills, for many of you that are online right now, you may not be doing my jujitsu classes, but these kind of coordination drills will certainly help with jujitsu. It's great warm up for what we're about to do with kicking and for cartwheels. Um, and they're good agility training. It's good athleticism. Uh, I mentioned yesterday on the B-Day class that some of the combinations we were doing, I wouldn't necessarily recommend for sparring. I would almost never use them in sparring myself. However, they're really good for athleticism, right? And the same thing with jujitsu. Regardless of whether you ever do jujitsu or not, for your body, to have the ability to go from here, uh, I'm sorry, why well, there was the other side here, and then switch, and then step around and sit, and then uh, without losing balance, come back, sit, spin back through, right? These types of things are great for hip strength, conditioning, and balance, right? So let's get into the next zone. Next zone, advanced kicking. I'm excited about this. I'm always excited about Fridays because Friday is largely a big play day for me, right? So today we're doing cartwheels. As we do cartwheels, we're gonna go through a couple different levels of them. We're gonna add in basic kicks, we're gonna add in some spinning kicks. As we do them, um, you'll notice that on one side, I can land pretty well. On the other side, I have to adjust my landing still because of my hip. So um, on one side, you'll see me land normal, but on the other side, you'll kind of see both feet hit at the same time to make sure that I'm protecting myself, all right? So we're gonna start off with low level stuff, uh, simply what we would call a monkey roll. With a monkey roll, what I'm gonna do is I just simply put my left hand on the ground, my right hand on the ground, step around with my right, step around with my left. And we're gonna do this back and forth. So now we're gonna go the other way. I put my left hand on the ground, right hand on the ground, step around with your right, step around with your left, right? So as you end up, we should, or at least for me anyway, I'm facing away from you guys, right? If you were to do this the same direction that I am, um, this would be confusing because this one is going to mess up the mirroring and matching part. So right now, this is your right hand. But if I turn this way, this is now your left hand. All right, so if you're facing the mirror, the thing, it'll be just like we're doing tatas. Okay, so we're here. So actually use your left hand first. Your left hand touches, and then your right hand touches, and then you go right and then left. And now we go back the other way. My left, right hand touches, my left hand touches, and I go left and then right. And these are just low level monkey rolls, what we call it. Left hand, right hand, right foot, left foot. And then we go right hand, left hand, left foot, right foot. And now we're gonna just start lifting our bodies up a little bit more. Or actually, we're going to go just a little faster. Let's take that back. So faster but slower at the same time, if that makes any sense. So instead of faster being like this, right, faster means I'm just going to move smoother, but I still want to go slow. So I'm like, I notice there's not fast movement. When I go in the air, 
I'm trying to control my body, right? Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Right? Hand, hand, foot, foot. Keep going a couple more seconds. See how amazing you guys look with these monkey rolls. Nice, Alejandro. Huh. Andre and Gustavo, I see heads and then I just see feet. Let's see it. Good, good, good. Jackson, nice. To Nathaniel, don't kick the wall. Make sure you guys have plenty of room. I should have given the disclaimer in the beginning. <laughs> all right, so, all right, we're gonna take it up a notch. So the disclaimer I was supposed to give in the beginning, by the way, was make sure that you're not so close to a wall that you're gonna kick it. You can't see the depth of this wall, but once I'm here, I know that I'm about to hit it because I'm in the black, so I'm only a couple feet away now, right? So I wanna make sure that I have enough space if I'm doing my cartwheel towards the wall this way, kind of dangerous. So now what we wanna do as we pick it up is just extend your legs, right? In a perfect world, then as I do this, I'm gonna go here, my legs are gonna extend, and then I hit the ground, right? So again, I go here, full extension of the legs way over the top of my head, right? And then when I land, I land one foot and then the other foot, right? So I go here and I extend one foot and then the other foot, right? I go here, good extension, one foot, and then the other foot. And ideally in a straight line, right? So I start picking it up to that level now. So looking at my straight line, hand, hand, foot, foot, right? Straight line, hand, hand, foot, foot. As you're doing this, instead of keeping the same hand going down, switch hands. I did it just so I could show it to you smoothly, but what I should be doing is this way. So I go one side, then the other side. That's the side I kind of have to adjust. And then I go back the same way, right? And then I come back to this side. Should be one foot in the other. I have to do it as a round off because I don't want to land all my weight on my hip at the same time right now, right? And then same thing the other side, right? One in the other, right? Let's see how amazing your cartwheels look. Joseph, nice. Try and straighten your second leg out a little more. Olivia, really nice. Nice, Andrea. Second leg, straighten it out a little more. That's it, Jackson. Get those legs straight. Straight, straight, straight. Same thing, Siobhan. Good. And everyone, time just for a moment, right? Watching you guys, um, seeing a really a lot of good stuff. Everyone is, for the most part, getting that second or the first leg straight. So actually, let's do this. Backing up a little bit, if I'm having a hard time with cartwheels, I'm going to still stay with the monkey roll. What I want to do is slowly start getting my feet higher and higher, right? So I might be here at first, but I'm still going to go slow, right? And even if I'm down here, I want to try and go slow. Put your weight on your hands. Don't be too fast to get your feet back to the ground. If I do this and I have to get my feet down quick, I'm going to have a hard time getting up to a, a cartwheel eventually. I want to go here, weight on my hands, and then I bring my feet down. Weight is on my hands, and then I bring my feet down. Slow and controlled, right? If I have that part down, then I want to try and get both of my legs to point up to the ceiling, right? So as I'm doing this, I'm going, and I'm here pointing my feet up. I really can't see this. I'm doing it so well. Let's see. If I go this way, push, point. Yeah, that was a little better. Oh, that was the wrong side. And then again, I go, point, feet are way up high. Try and get that second leg straight. Keep going a couple more times. Now we're going to start adding some kicks in. Let's see it. Straight. That was better, Jackson. That was better, Samira. I just caught the end of that one. That one looked pretty good. Samira, much better than the first couple I saw. Really good. Olivia, nice. Come on, come on, come on. Straighten your legs out and remember to go slow. So even if I'm straightening, straightening my legs out, um, as I get my body upright, it's even more important for me to go slow. So as I get to here, I want to be able to go up and nice and slow, right? Sorry about the really weird noises holding on my weight, right? 
But think like last week when we did the cart or the handstands, I want to be able to control my body when I'm vertical, right? So I go here, up, slow, right? And I go here, up, slow, as I'm going through that motion. See how slow you can make it, right? Go back this way. Let's see, keep going. Keep going. Nice, Michael, good. Work that landing, you almost had it. Um, why is the Newton boy on the ground? Get up. Come on, Sean, where is it? I see you, where does the cartwheel at? Come on. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, and time. So now let's go into kicking with our cartwheels. So the first one, simple one, just simply a front kick, right? We're gonna do a basic one and we're gonna do spinning kicks. So with the front kick, I might simply throw my kick and then right off of the kick, I go right into my cartwheel, right? And then again, I throw my kick and then I go right into my cartwheel, right? And then back leg front kick, spin, cartwheel, straighten legs out. Back leg front kick and then cartwheel, right? Let's see it, back leg front kicks into cartwheels. Nice, Ashan. Let's see it, Ella. Where is it? That a girl. Huh. You have to put your hands on the ground for it to be a cartwheel. Kick and then cartwheel. Let's see it. Who has it? Joseph. Nice hang time. That was really good. Nice, good work, Andrea. All right, cool, so now let's take you to the other side of it. So now what I mean by that is I do the cartwheel and then I kick. So now from here, I go cartwheel, and then afterwards I throw the kick, right? And then I come right back, cartwheel, and then right afterwards I throw my kick, right? So now do your cartwheel and your kick, go. Cartwheel, and then I kick. Cartwheel, and then I kick. Cartwheel, and a kick. Cartwheel, and a kick. Let's see them. Cartwheels into kicks. <laughs> Try and think kick in the opposite direction you just came from with your cartwheel. No, not spinning kicks yet, Gustavo. That's next. Cartwheel, right into the kick, right into the kick. That's it, Chivanch. Nice, Andrea. So kick from the way that you came on this one. So everybody watch one more time, watch. I'm facing this way, right? So I do my cartwheel, and then after my cartwheel, I kick in the direction that I just came from, right? So now I go back this way, I do my cartwheel, and then I kick from the direction that I just came from. Right, so I should, if I'm going here, I do my cartwheel, and then I kick back to the center. All right, a couple more moments, and we're going to actually, I take that back, otherwise we'll miss out on spinning kicks. So, spinning kicks. Now what I want you to do is cartwheel and then spinning kick after. It's the easier way to do it, right? So we'll start with that one, and then we'll build out. So now, I go here, I do my cartwheel. After I do my cartwheel, I do my spinning kick, right? And now I would come right back the other direction, right? So then I go cartwheel here, and then it would go spinning kick. So as you're doing this, one way to think of it is, whichever direction you're going, the hand that touches first, that foot is gonna do the spinning kick. So for me, this is my right side. For you guys, I know it's your left, but this is my right side. So here, if I go the same way that you guys would be going, right, so I'm here, so here's my right side now. I do my cartwheel with my right hand hitting first. I come out of the cartwheel, my right leg does the spinning hook kick, right? So again, on that side, this, this is my better side to do it on. I go cartwheel, come out of the cartwheel, spinning hook, right? Give it a shot, go. Right into the spinning. And you come back the same way. 
We got a wheel. Spinning wheel. Oh, it's not going to work for me too well yet. We got a wheel. So, that was a bad spinning kick. We got a wheel. Spinning kick. See how you guys look. I'm old and broken. You probably look much better. Olivia, that was a really nice one. Get your base after this cartwheel before you do your spinning kick, guys. Right into the spinning kick. That's it, Joseph. Cartwheel, spinning kick. Where'd the spinning kick go, Brady? I saw the cartwheel and then the fall and, and then spinning kick. Yes, that was really good. Much better. Where's the spinning kick? That's it, Evan. All right, cool. So now let's put the spinning kick on in the beginning. This one's more challenging because it creates a lot of momentum as you're going into the spinning kick and you have to do an extra rotation to be able to pull it off. So I start here, I do my spinning hook kick, and then after the spinning hook kick, I take another half rotation, and then I go into my cartwheel from there, right? So, um, well, if I do it the same way you guys are facing, <laughs> so it would be this way, though. If I actually did it the way you're facing, isn't it? Right? So I would go from here, spinning kick with my right, I would spin around one more time so my right side is forward and I'm too close to the wall. And I would do my cartwheel right after that. Right? Um, so one more time, I go here. Spinning kick, rotate again, go right into the cartwheel off of that. Right? Now let's see it. You have about one minute. Let's see how many guys pull it off. That's it, Brady. Straighten those legs out a little bit more. Control your body in the air. Let's see it, Gustavo. Nice. Spinning kick. Into the cartwheel. Spin. And then come towards the camera. Come this way, Jackson. Yes, that was it. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole landing thing sometimes, I know. This is a tough one. Let's see, spinning kick. Joseph, nice work. Olivia, nice work. All right, and time. All right, so that's it for our play time in terms of dance kicking anyway. Grab your commas. Come on the comma girl. And a quick drink. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Okay, so comma time. Um, as we go into our comma practice, let's warm up with our basic comma handling stuff that we've been doing. So we're starting off with the just X cuts. This isn't um, the figure eight yet. This is just cuts. Forward, forward, right? So I'm just going forward on a 45, right? We're just gonna do like 30 seconds per hand. We've spent the last couple weeks on this. You guys should have this down pretty well, right? So one hand's out in the front and you're just chopping. Now watch, see how amazing you guys look as we're doing this. Chop, 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 chop. Where's my arrow? Chop, 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 chop. Good. Remember wrist, don't bring your whole arm across, just nice and tight right in front of you. The main thing that's moving is your wrist, right? And then switch, go to the other hand. So now we're here. Chop, 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 chop. So come back and chop, back, chop, back, chop. We'll get to figure eights in a little bit. Right now, this is just simply straightforward chopping. Chop, come back, chop, come back, chop, come back, chop, come back, chop, 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 chop. Job. Good. And then both commas in hand. 
and go into our seven cut, right? So we're gonna come across the shoulder and then down to the hip. Inward block, downward block. Inward block, downward block. Inward block, downward. Don't even worry about the other hand right now. You just keep it tight against your side. Don't let it hang out here loose or just drop the comma and let the hand hang. Get used to holding onto the comma as you're doing it and just keeping it tight. But I don't want you to have it here right now. I want you to just focus on this hand. So shoulder, hip, 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 shoulder, hip. Other side, shoulder, hip, 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 shoulder, other side again, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. Remember from one shoulder to the other, one shoulder to the other. And other side again. Shoulder to the hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. Now let's bring this hand in a guard. So now this hand's up here, seven cut, a little bit faster now. One, instead of one, two, make it one, 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 one. Still shoulder, hip though. Get that snap right here though, comes across, snap. This is all wrist snapping right there. Snap, 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 pop, 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 pop. Remember, wrist, 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 wrist. Snap, 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 snap. Other side, same thing. Left hand's up, right hand's doing the drill. If you're mirroring me, sh sh should look just like you're looking in a mirror. But you guys all have much more hair than I have. Snap, 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 snap. Ten more seconds. And time. All right, so now we're going to cross our arms and we're going to strike. Cross and then strike. Cross and then strike. Cross and then strike. Cross, strike. Cross, strike. Right hand on the top, left hand is striking. Cross and then strike. Cross and then strike, cross and then strike, cross, strike, cross, strike, cross, strike, strike, set, straight fast, set, straight fast, set, straight fast. Five more seconds. Other side. So left hand's on the top, right hand's underneath. I chop with the right as my left hand comes right over the top of my head. Strike, cross. Strike, cross, cross, strike, cross, strike, cross, strike. Whoosh. Whoosh. Try and get from point A to point B fast. Get that speed, step, make it fast, snap. And both hands are moving fast. Don't think this hand's moving fast and this hand's just kind of being lazy. Boom, both hands, strike, strike, strike. Strike, 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 strike. Good, and shake your arms out for a moment. Now we're gonna go to a little coordination drill with it. So you're gonna chop on one side and then chop on the other side. And as I'm doing this, I have to keep switching which hand is on top and which hand is on the bottom. We're gonna start slow to make sure that you get the flow, but then I want it to become one of our speed drills to where you're trying to make it happen fast, right? So we start here and you're gonna go this way. And then left hand's on the top, right hand chops. Right hand on the top, left hand chops. Left hand on the top, right hand chops. Right hand's on the top, left hand chops. Left hand on top, right hand chops. Right hand on top, left hand chops. Left hand, right hand chops. And be focused on what you're doing. Think about the details right now, because that's what's gonna allow you to go faster, right? Let's start picking up. Strike, 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 strike. You have to think about which hand goes on top. The hand that just chopped goes on top. If you think about that motion or the hand that just blocked goes under, focus on one hand or the other. You don't necessarily have to focus on both at the same time. If you just do one, the other will do what it should do, right? All right, let's pick it up fast now. Chop, 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 chop. 15 seconds. How fast can you go without hitting yourself like that? Shh, shh. 
and time. All right, so now from here, finger rolls. Let's do our finger roll practice. So our hand is out, comma rolls over the finger. Close up view, we're here, roll. Oh, that wasn't it at all. Over the finger. So we have two commas, over the finger, over the finger. My hand opens, this finger stays out. If you look at it from the side, this is what's happening. These fingers open up, my little pointer finger stays out, right? Where that other comma go? Over the finger, over the finger. The comma should be in contact with your finger the whole entire time. Don't just throw it. And that's why. Contact with the finger. Contact with the finger. And now switch, go to the other hand if you haven't already. Finger roll. You should probably focus on your weaker hand more with this, right? This isn't like one of those skills. It's just really not going to matter. You're not going to get that good just because it's your left hand. Your left hand can be equally as strong as your right, provided that you train it, right? And with weapons, it's good to be able to do it on either side, right? Kali, it's a huge part of Kali is you have to be able to do things on both sides. Makes you, forces you to be ambidextrous. Both hands, finger up. Lost that one. Finger rolls. Lost that one too. Palm up, finger roll. So my palm's this way, and my comma is just coming over the top of my palm, right? It almost looks, makes it look like you're spinning them flat in your hand, but what you're really doing is a finger roll, right? It's like a little bit of a flick back with your hand at first, and then just open it up and let it roll. Going for two. Does anyone have two? One, one, two, ah, one and a half, one, lost it. You do pretty good with it this way, almost. One, two, oh. right there. Oh, nope, nope, palm up. And a half. All right, so let's go to figure eights, otherwise we're gonna run out of time. So figure eights, I go chop, and then I roll to the inside, chop, roll to the outside, chop, roll to the inside, strike, roll to the outside. If you look here, chop, roll to the inside, chop, roll to the outside. Straight chop, roll to the inside, chop, roll to the outside, right? Inside, outside, inside, outside, All right? Just go slow. And then once you have this down, it's good to go slow for a while. This helps to build up wrist strength and flexibility, right? If you want to get really good at the figure eights to where you can go once you strike, right, or these types of motions, then you want to go through slow first so you can get this full range, right? So now let's pick it up on just this one hand, but you're going to do two of them, just two. So I go inside, outside, inside, outside inside, outside. And as I do the, the figure eight, my hand does open up, but these two fingers, right, the finger and the thumb, stay wrapped around it tight, right? So this is still here, but I open these fingers up so that I can get the comma through a little bit better, right? I still have this really good wrist flexibility to where I could do it probably pretty well without really opening up my hand, but opening it up just makes it that much faster, right? That little bit quicker to be able to roll through, right? Oh, inside, outside, inside, outside. I know when I do it fast, it's kind of hard to see what's happening, but it's going inside, outside. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, right? Other hand. In and out, in out, in. Let's 
my weaker side. We all have them inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Really work that wrist flexibility and strength. Don't just let your elbow bend. You'll see I'm kind of like working that outside motion because my wrist isn't quite as flexible on this side as the other one. Inside, get the outside. Full circle. Try and get it all the way back. Instead of here, it's pretty good. The inside circle is easy. The outside circle, people sometimes just do that because of the wrist flexibility. This is where I really want you to get that comma to come all the way back, right? Inside's easy. It's that outside roll that you have to work on the flexibility and strength for so that you can start going faster and it still looks, right? So now two, one, 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 two. See how awesome your figure eights are looking. When you guys do these, by the way, right now, stand this way sideways, right? If I look at you from the front, then this is all I see, right? And you really can't even see what's happening with the comma. But when you look from the side, you can see a little bit better. Are they making it through that full range, right? So go from the side. Let's see how you look. Is it Brady? Huh. Come on, you guys are supposed to be working. Where'd you go? That's it, Ella, good work. Keep it going. Roll it through, inside, outside, inside, outside. Nice work, Joseph. Nathaniel, nice work. Good, good, good. Good, and time. So here's what I would like you guys to continue to work on with, here's a little drill for you to work on with your commas through this week. One figure eight, and then chop, and then from there, a finger roll, and then chop. On the figure eight, I want you to go inside, outside, inside, chop finger roll, chop, right? So again, inside, outside, inside, chop, finger roll, chop. Inside, outside, inside, chop, finger roll, chop, right? One, two, three, chop, finger roll, chop. Chop, finger roll, chop. Chop, finger roll, chop. That's the drill, right? So that's your homework assignment for the week for your comma handling skills. And remember, with your weaker hand, take your time to go inside, outside, inside, chop, finger roll, Jump, right? If I do it on this side, it looks like this. If I do it on this side, it looks like this. <laughs> you can definitely tell which hand is better and which hand is stronger, right? Make sure you're practicing your weaker side so that eventually you can get them both to go one, two, three, finger roll, chop, right? So there you go. Thank you so much for playing with commas. For anyone that's hanging out and doing sticks with me for Kali, then stick around, pun intended. Thank you guys. Oos. All right, who's playing with sticks with me? You hanging out, Joseph? Cool. Joseph, you can take your mic off if you want and put the sound back on so I can hear you. And then, right. Billy, were you sticking around too? Or did he already leave us? Looks like he already left us. Cool. All right, so anyone that's hanging out and doing sticks, so Joseph, we're gonna be doing um, what we call the Saints. We haven't done these in quite some time. So this will actually be brand new for you. Um, although, if there's anything else specific that you wanted to work on, since you're kind of my main Kali person that's online still right now. In fact, I see Tom, but I don't know what Tom that is, if that's Brady's dad or whom. All right, so um, Joseph, is there anything specific that you wanted to work on or no? Um, I can't really think of anything. Okay, cool. So we'll do the Saints. Um, Miss Botwinick, by the way, you can give me back the host and jump out if you want. If you want to hang out and do sticks with us, you can. Thank you. I'll see you sometime soon. Um, so here we go. Saints. The first thing we're actually going to do is work on our footwork, right? So the footwork for the Saints is I'm going to start with, let me see. I need to mirror you first. So we're gonna start with our right foot forward, right? And the footwork is simply gonna be here. Step across your center line with your right, 
step behind like a crossing stance with your left. You're going to pivot on the ball of your left foot, but the heel of your right foot, and you'll end up in your other side forward ready stance, right? So if your right foot will be forward, right, sir? What's that? Your right foot will be forward. So when you right forward, your left foot should have ended forward. Or wait, left foot. start with your right foot forward. Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn around and face the other way, and then it'll be more like you're following along with what I'm doing. All right. Um, so you can see my feet from here. So we're going to start with our right foot forward. All right. And then what's going to happen is I step across my center line with the right. My left foot steps behind. My right foot, I pivot on the heel. My left foot, I pivot on my toes. And now my left side will be forward, and I should be in a ready stance. And then I step across to the left. I bring my right foot straight through like in a crossing stance. Heel of the left foot pivots, but the ball of the foot of the right. And then you're back in your right side forward. All right? So let's do that a couple of times. Because this footwork is the most confusing part of the whole thing, right? Step across to the right, bring your left foot, kind of like stab your left foot through, heel of the right foot, ball of the foot on the left. So now your left foot is forward. Step across to the left, bring your right foot through, heel of the left, ball of the foot on the right. So now our right side is forward again. And then we shuffle back one more time and then we'll add in the sticks a little bit. So now we step across to the right, Stab through the left, and then heel of the right, ball of the foot on the left. Step across to the left, bring your right foot through deep, and now heel the left, ball of the foot on the right. And you should be right back in the right stance, all right? So now, if you do these with the six, the flow that we're gonna do is basically just simply um, a four count redondo, right? So actually, if we do this first, um, put your right side forward. Right? And you're going to go to Sinawali guard, so close guard. Your um, right hand is on the top, left hand is underneath. And it's going to be just like we're hitting, but we're obviously not hitting. So hit with the right, and then the left, and then the right, and then bring your left hand over the top. Right? And we'll do that again. So go back to the right side. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we come back to the right side. Right? Come back. Okay, good. You're a tiny little picture on my screen, so I had to look to see if you had them on the proper side. So it should be like we're really hitting sticks. So it's like my right is hitting your right, my left hit your left, my right, uh, I messed this all up. Right hit your right, left hit your left. And then come back, right? So right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. So it's all just coming around this one side. So if you were like hit me with a one strike, a two strike, a one strike and a two strike, but because it's right, left, right, left, it all just sits that same side of my neck, right? So and now, the, on the last one, the left hand, when we go hit with the left of the last time, when we bring it around, you were bringing the um, right back to this side? The right is gonna stay on your left side. So I go right oh. hand, left hand, and now as they both come back around again, they're gonna both stay on my left side. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's going here and then I'm stopping here. We're going to add on more that's going to bring the sticks back out and you're actually going to unwind and come back to this other side. Right. So, um, but for right now, let's just do this part. So now adding the footwork into this part, we're going to go one, two, on three, you're going to cross your center line with your right as you hit three and then four. Right. So I start here and I go one, two, three, four. And then Right? So if I mirror your, do it the same way you are, we're going one, two, step across with the right on three and four, and then come right back. One, two, three, four, and then we go back. One, two, three, four, and then back. One, two, three, four, and then back. Once more, we add on. One, two, three, four. Now from here, this is where we did that back step with the left or we stabbed the left through in a crossing stance. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit with your right hand as a backhand look. And now all we do is we unwind, follow the back or follow the front through the heel of the back, backhand with the left, and now redondo, three count redondo, one, two, three, and now I end up with the sticks on the right side, right? 
So switch your feet, let's go through that whole thing again. So right side is forward, sticks are on the right. You're gonna hit one, two, step across with the right as you hit with the right, hit with the left, bring your left foot through, backhand low with the right, unwind, backhand with the left, and now chamber on the right side, and go one, two, three, and now you're chambered on the left side. And then step back, and you do it again, right? Any questions, or is this thoroughly confusing you, or do you think you're getting it? I think I'm getting it. Um, okay. It's just a matter of getting it, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard for me to do it and watch you at the same time when I'm doing it this way. So I'll try this time. So ready? Chamber um, on the right side. No, you're doing it with me so I can see. Chamber on the right side. Yeah, yeah, right foot's in the front. So right hand, left hand, step across to the right. Right hand, left hand. So right now, yep. And now step through with your left foot, back hand low with the right hand. Yes. And now just turn, look over your left shoulder as you unwind. Back hand with the left. And then chamber on the right side. So both sticks are on the right, yes. And then right hand, left hand, right hand. All right. And set back up and do it again. And all of the stick handling is all right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right? If you look, I go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. So you're just okay. switching which hand is hitting next. Okay. Uh, I have two questions. First, um, okay. when we get to here, yes. you hit with the right. Do you yes. just uh, bring this back to your side here? Yes. Bring it on the other way. So it's here. So you can tuck yep. under and then move it right through. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay. And we should end on our left side if we start with the right side forward, right? All right. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we would just do it on the other side as well, right? So um, let's do it again a couple more times and then maybe we'll pick it up uh, and see how we can flow. Um, so you're going to go right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Step with left hip with the right low. Spin. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Step back. Do it again. Right. Left, right as you step, left. Step through the left as you hit with the right low. Left hand, right, left, right. This is what this actually isn't a one of the saints. This is called the nine count redondo, but it sets up being able to do the saints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? And then again, one, two, step on three. Four, step on five, twist six, seven, eight, nine. Step back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right? So let me see you do it on your own. Go one, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, like a pro, Joseph. All right, so now when we do this with a partner, you're gonna come at me like you're attacking and I'm gonna move backwards, right? I'm actually gonna switch and should have done this before. Um, okay, so I just, I switched the video so I can see you on the big screen. All right. All right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this as if we're doing it with a partner, all right? So you're hitting me okay. and I'm moving away from you. So we go right, right, go ahead, hit. Right, left, right, step across on that one. Left, and now you stab through as you backhand me. Yes, and then unwind, backhand, one, two, and then three. And then we would simply do it on the other side. But for right now, today we'll just keep with this side so we can get it down, right? So step back with your foot, so your right foot's in the front again, and we start with the right hand. Ready, go, right, left, right, yes, left. And then step through, hit, unwind, hit, yes, and then one, two, three, right, left, right, right, left, right. That's it, step back up, do it again. 
and hit me. Go, I'll follow your lead. Three. That's it. Nice. Again. Oh, hold on. I have to wave to somebody. Sorry. Are they coming in? I hope not. Sorry. One of my students was out in the parking lot. Go. Boom. Back step. Yes. Hit. One, two, three. That's it. Good. All right. Again. Let's even go a little faster. Yes. Good. And again, ready, go. Good. All right, so that's the offensive side. The defensive side is almost the same, just a little bit different. Because obviously, if you're on offense, you're moving forward. I shouldn't say obviously, but in this case, you are. And when I'm on defense, I'm moving backwards, right? So what I'm gonna do when I'm on defense, just watch it first. It's very similar. I hit one, two, three, four, but I don't take this step. Actually, let me move back so you can see my footwork. So I go one, two, three, four. If I'm on defense, I don't have to take this step across. But then what I do is when you back step through to hit me with five, I just step back and hit on five. When you're unwinding, I'm just switching my stance. So I'm going from this cross stance just to here, and then it's a one, two, three, right? So on offense, what you're doing is you're going one, two, step here, stab through here, unwind, hit, one, two, three. On defense, I'm going one, two, this is where the other person would step across, but I don't have to. As they do this step, then I'm going from here, I'm doing this. So I'm stepping away from them as I backhand them. And then I just simply turn this way to hit the backhand, and then one, two, three, okay? So let's practice a defense in form, and then we'll, I'll attack you, and you can see if you get the defense down. So you're going to want to be forward a little bit more because you're going to move back. So our right side is forward, right, left, right, left, but that's all stationary. Now I step back with the right into a crossing stance and hit with the right, and then just simply turn my right shoulder back as my left hand hits, and now right, left, right, and your left side is forward. And switch your feet, do it again. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. Step back with your right in a crossing stance as you backhand low. Unturn, unturn. Unwind your body a little bit as you backhand with the left. One, two, three. And then step back up. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then do it again. One, two, three, Four, step back on five, turn on six, seven, eight, nine. Right? It's simple ish? Yeah. All right, show me. So go right sides forward, forward, backhand, yep, backhand, and then one, two, three. You got it. All right, so now I attack you. So we start with the right side forward. And I come through and I go one, two, three, four, five. That would be your right hand hitting me low. Now I twist, but you just simply turn. Backhand with the left, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. Step back up, step back, and then do it again. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine is the easy part. And back, and ready. Question? Um, that, yeah, just uh, um, from when we go from one, two, three, four, step here, when yeah. we turn, it's almost more, more of a punch sort of blocking motion than more of a um, swinging motion. It's definitely, it's a block, yes, you're on defense. Right, so the person is charging at me, and I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, I'm blocking, right? So the whole thing is they're coming in at me, and I'm hitting the sticks to keep them away, right? But don't think of this as a punch, because a punch, you're not gonna use your wrist. Yeah. So if I go this way, and I think of it like a punch, it looks like that. 
but I want to think from here, it's here, right? It's this wrist motion, right? Oh, oh I see. Here, right? Actually, I would be here, here, and it's here, right? My arm's coming out, but it should be just like I'm throwing a two strike, right? Yes, sir. That makes sense. Okay. Um, let's go. A couple more times. So now I'm attacking you. Ready, go. Bam, 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 bam. Hit. Bam. One, two, three. All right. And now switch your feet. But now you're attacking me. Come at me, bro. Oh. Go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Six. One, two. Three, good, switch your feet, and now I attack you again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine. And then switch your feet and you attack me. One, two, three, good step. Good, one, one, two, three, good. So that's the basic flow of the Saints. And of course we would do it on either side. So if I were performing with somebody, then I would be here and I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then they would come back at me. Right? Um, that's the nine count redondo. When you get into the saints, once you have the outline down, doing the actual saints really isn't that challenging. Probably the biggest challenge is remembering which one is which because you have to remember St. Miguel, Raphael, uh, Uriel, and Gabriel. I always say Donatello just for fun because it sounds so much like the turtles. Mike, you know, Raphael and, oh well, they have Michelangelo, but it's Miguel. So anyway, the saints would just simply be, now I do it as heaven. So I go one, two, three. I still come over the top of the redondo, right? And that would be Miguel. Raphael, I do heaven, but I go high, low, still coming over the top with the redondo, and then the rest of this is all the same. And then you go to Uriel, which is a two-handed swing at first, so I hit, 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 and then I release the sticks, and then I come into it. Um, and then, what one? Gabriel is, it starts here, but it's more of like cob cob. so I go hit, 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 and then I spin through afterwards, right? So once I go through this last strike, from here, this part is always the same. It's just a matter of what are the first three strikes? Are the first three strikes gonna be heaven? Is it gonna be heaven earth? Is it gonna be a two-handed strike? Or is it gonna be here and then going into cop cop? But then once I get through that third strike, it's all just over hit, spin, boom, right? So those are the saints, something we haven't done in quite a while. And I was like, ah, oh, let's play around with these for a while because we haven't done them in some time. So um, there you go. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I, I just um, the at the three step through, and then this the uh, um, whole step through motion there. That uh, kind of felt pretty cool, pretty fancy. Yeah, it, it is, and it's you know it's a little bit different, um, but it's cool. Again, it's all you know just simple skills, right? So, all right, I have to get going. Actually, I'm gonna end the recording. So, for anyone watching. Thank you for watching and participating today. Enjoy your day. Oos. And remember, as always, wash your hands and don't touch your face. Touch your face. That's